you really should not need to do anything here. If you've memorized the circle equation, this is a two second question and it's rewarding people who have done that memorization. So a circle in the XY plane has the equation X minus 13 squared plus Y minus K squared equals 64, which the following gives the center of the circle and its radius. Well, the normal equation is X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared, so I didn't even bother to change that, equals R squared. So what's my center? Well, the H corresponds with 13, so it's positive 13, not negative 13, not that we could really fall for that here, so the, the center is going to be 13K. So 13K is different from K13. And then the radius, this is the part most people are gonna mess up if they're gonna mess something up, is not 64, because even though the formula as we understand it has a squared on that radius, we don't see that squared because we're just gonna square that number and it'll just look like a normal number. So we have to take the square root of that 64, which of course is eight. And so this is done in just a matter of seconds. If you go to Desmos, they'll ask you to put a slider for K or you may have to force it to do that and you can, and then you can kind of look at it and you'll see kind of where your center is. You'll see that the radius is definitely not 64. Remember, that would be huge. That would take up, that would go off the screen. You, you know, you'd have to zoom out a lot to see that big of a circle. So hopefully you would be like, all right, it's clearly something closer to eight just by the way it looks, even if you don't count the boxes. But you really need to memorize this circle equation. Uh, it's going to come up at least once per SAT. And um, sometimes it's really just a matter of memorizing that formula and, and there's reading what the formula says. So there, there's no trick to it here. It does get tricky sometimes, but you, you know, this is a basic definition. A lot of SAT questions are just like, you memorize one fact and you get it in two seconds and you don't memorize the fact, it's a giant mess. So memorize the facts and you'll get a lot of questions right really easily.